Welcome back to Vladis Seeds of Life. In the past, I shared with you how to raise store-bought baby chicks. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to do it with help of a mother hen. First, we need a hen that's ready to be a mom. Now listen carefully for the sounds that she makes. Now this is just one of the ways you will know your chicken is ready to lay on eggs. Since we don't have a rooster with our hens, I'm borrowing fertilized eggs from my neighbor. Each one is given a name and we're going to keep an eye and see which of these would actually hatch. Now that we have all these beautiful names in place, we are ready to place the eggs in a nest. This is our day one, and you can see uh, she is protecting the eggs, and the sounds that she makes is, are the sounds that uh, mother hen makes. So this is one uh, another way you can uh, tell if the chicken is ready to be a mom. These sounds are okay. Let me see if I can pet her. What happens? Okay, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. All right. I'm gonna give her privacy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, give her food and water. This is for her, special water and food. And I'm gonna leave it in her little, um, in the little uh, chicken coop. And I'm gonna close the door just to give her privacy from other chickens. Check on your chicken every day to make sure she's doing okay. Girl, how are you? How are you doing? Uh -huh. You're a good mama. You're a good mama. You wanna go outside a little bit? Be aware that some days she might choose to get up for food and water and some days she might choose to stay. On days when she's up, she should return back to eggs within 15 minutes to keep them warm. Just a couple more days and we should have the babies. How's our girl this morning? Hey girl, any news? Uh -huh. And finally, it was time for babies to hatch. Kids and I just couldn't wait. So today is the day and we're so excited. I'm so excited. In fact, I didn't even have a time to take my curlers off. Um, I came to check the chicken and I hear chippering underneath mama. So we got a baby. Now, how am I going to convince mama to show us the baby? I don't know how we're going to do it because if I try to touch her, she wants to bite me. So um, let's see if we can get lucky and take a peek. Okay, baby, you good mama. You're good mama, I hear a baby there. We want to share this moment with you so bad. I'm just going to put the towel over her and kind of lift her up gen gently. It's okay, Matzo. It's okay, mama. It's okay, mama. I just want to see the baby and we're going to put you down again. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. There's a baby. There's the first one. Yay! <laughs> Courage came out first. So, welcome to this world, Courage. Go back to your baby. Okay, okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's alright, it's alright. It's alright, it's alright. Right. 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 And we're so glad that we can share this little story with you. The next day came and we did not get any more chicks. So, I was concerned about the baby chicken mom and wanted to make sure that they have food and water available. While we waited for other eggs to hatch, it was cute to observe how a mother hen was trying to lead the baby to food. Our baby number one came and then nothing happened for a day or two and then we did end up having another baby chick but that was all for this batch. After first baby chick hatches, mother hen would usually remain laying on eggs for another couple of three days. If no other chicks hatch, she will abandon the batch in pursuit for food. After hatching, baby chicks can be without the food or water for up to 48 hours and sometimes even longer. Since the rest of the eggs were not hatching, I was a bit concerned about the baby chick and mom and I wanted to make sure they have food and water. On the end, we end up having only two baby chicks. I hope this little video was helpful and if you have further questions, please write to us. Until then, thank you and please consider subscribing to our channel.
All the best to you and your family from me and my little chicklings.